on partial breast irradiation using the mammocyte. Again, the data from the FDA study, the data from the American Society of Breast Surgeons, and then finally showing you where we're going with partial breast. I believe all of the cosmetic images that were available on all these patients, um, as we try to do with any... Now, one of the questions that I always hear whenever I talk about partial breast irradiation is that um, people tell me that over time the cosmetic results deteriorate. So again, the amamocyte was cleared from the FDA in May of 2002. The American Society of Breast Surgeons assumed management of the registry study. This was a study that was, st this was a study that was started by Proxima and attempting to... And this just shows you, this is a snapshot in time of the registry study showing you when there were 1,100 patients enrolled. And, and then just to show you, these are some of the... Um, the data from the registry study for the American Society and the cosmetic results to date, certainly early, but nonetheless, show. but I want to wrap it up just before the break, talking to you about the NSABP study, um, comparing partial breast versus whole breast radiation, and just showing you here some of the people that are involved in uh, the development of this protocol, both from the RTOG and from the NSABP. The phase three study will be a randomized trial, as I mentioned, and the unique part about the phase three study is that patients will only be, the primary endpoint in the phase three study will obviously be local recurrence, but as I told you earlier, we're also gonna be looking at quality of life issues. They went back and looked at the previous 11 NSA, NSABP trials, and what they determined then is that at 10 years, the risk of local recurrence in the breast was around 6% in all of the pooled NSABP studies.